Hello, and welcome back to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. When we last left off, we were in possession of two cities, three castles. Uh, we're getting things nice and tidy now. Articio is looking bad, but we got the food there. We got the loyalty. Everything's looking up. And my party is currently full. But um, what we want to do... I would like to get my three, you know, captains, uh, party leaders back um, with me as soon as possible. But in the meantime, I'm going to go over to Hertogea Castle. We are fighting the Northern Empire and the Batanians currently. And I think that we're stronger than the two of them combined. We're also making a nice profit right now. And I do think we should get back here. It's not really a nice profit, um, actually. Yeah, it's hard to tell. We're around the zero, you know, breaking even line, which is good, because most of the campaign we've been losing money. Um, it looks like Lath the Scholar got himself up to 75 medicine. Let's go ahead and give him that perk. Or was that Soren Willibark? Okay. Dr. South, medicine recovery chance. Disease, decrease wounded party speed penalty by 50%. Increase the health of every mount spread by 50%. By 15. Yeah, I thought we did this one. Okay. Yeah, let's go put a stop to this. These shenanigans over here. And him all the knowing has been taken prisoner, so... That's unfortunate. Um, how about you two? They're still in another army. And, yeah, our spot's being raided here, which I do not appreciate. Get out of here. Go on, get. Surrender or die. Alright, let's go to the battlefield. Okay, we've got a crossing, which is never never fun. But let's get a, let's get everybody over there. It's not that deep. Okay. Um There's an enemy soldier. All right, let's get let's get everybody up here. I want the archers up here, and let's just put the infantry here. Cavalry over here. Horse archer. I have a horse. Alright, heavy infantry. Put here. And everybody, because they seem to be facing away from the enemy a lot. No one's been facing the enemy now. Okay, so hopefully everybody can get up into position. Hopefully our archers can rain arrows down on them. Alright, they're taking a little defensive position here. Good job, good job, family. Yeah, just go right through them. Alright. Um, it looks like I killed my own dude. And they have taken XP away from friendly fire, unfortunately. Alright, we broke their little, um... Defensive ring. Oh. I shot a Destrier. I killed my brother's horse. Alright, I think that... We want the cavalry to charge. And we want the infantry to charge. How are they doing? 37? Okay. Now 
Let's get out of here. I am, uh, my horse is almost dead. Yep. Lame horse. Another lame horse. I lost another horse. Let's get on top of this one. Alright, let's have everybody charge. Just end this. So I'm going to have to replace my horse yet again. Alright, they have two left. I don't even know where he is. Yeah, we did. Alright, victory is ours. Uh, Porphelios has died on the battlefield. Look at that. So, we didn't just destroy his army. We destroyed him as well. He got some nice stat points all around for the whole family. Take a look at this perk point, Varric, in riding. Way to go, way to go, way to go, kid. Um, charge damage, yeah, we're doing charge damage with everyone. Yeah, get that charge damage, since since we are just plowing through defensive, uh, enemy defensive formations and the like. Um, let's take a look at our inventory. There's an Imperial Charger here. Lame Aserai Horse. I don't think they become, they don't become unlame, I don't think. So, yeah. I guess I'll ride this Imperial Charger and look for another Asteroid Horse, because they are my personal favorite. And, let me see. Large bag of bolts. Alright, so it's just two more than this one, but okay. I'll take it. More raiding going on down here. All right, back to the battle for you. Um, all right, it's this map with that little bridge crossing. Everyone, get moving. Get everyone moving this Move way. Out. Now, where is the enemy? Up that way. So, let's just get our archers in front. Uh, infantry right here. We have more archers than infantry. Let's put our cavalry on the flank over there. Heavy infantry on the flank over here. And my family with me. All right, now let's find wherever their position is. You are not okay. Everybody needs to be facing the right way. <laughs> so funny. I don't know why it's not. It's not default to just face the enemy. Okay, let's go after this one dude. Man, he blocked me. Come on, family. <laughs> All right, great start here. As long as we get them moving into our archers. Nope. Yeah, they're advancing slowly and ignoring me. Tasner. All right, now they're shooting at me. Let's go see what's. Let's go make sure we know what's going on. The archers are shooting at their advancing line. This way we have. Alright, we can just wait, I think. This is fine. Um, I think we should have our cavalry charge. Well, no, not yet. Not yet. Their archers are slightly a threat. Oops. That's 
kind of why I'm considering a cavalry charge. And no gang got dropped. He's okay. Not dead. Okay. And they keep dro keep dropping. A uh, better intro. Okay, let's get back to our line. See what's going on. Uh, I'm definitely time for a cavalry charge and infantry charge. Probably a little late for the infantry charge. Two left seems to be these archers. Yeah, they're just standing around. There we go. There we go. Enemies are fleeing. Another solid victory. Another big miss. Halt! That didn't kill him. <laughs> Now we took nine losses there. You are my prisoner now. Okay, those threats have now been taken care of for the time being. Let's get back to Legetta. What do we got here? And Bard. It's time for his education. Um, he's getting different choices here. People remark on how much the baby resembles his parents. Anbar definitely has his father's vigor. Social, which isn't that good. Social, we didn't have this choice last time. The child plays close to, pays close attention to anyone talking to him and sometimes tries to comfort playmates in distress. Cunning. Uh, maybe. For scouting. Although vigor's always good. Let's just go with vigor. At the same time, he shows his mother's endurance. Endurance is always good for either if you ride or if you're on foot. Despite his tender age, the baby already starts to show uh, some aptitude in intelligence and social. Nice. So we get extra intelligence, get extra social, vigor, and endurance. Very nice. Loving this education. This is a nice feature. They're both po poised to be better than my brother, Varen. All right, let's go to the keep. We're gonna drop uh, the noble in in there, Tasner. Tas Tasinor. Ransom the rest. Noble retinues. What does this do? Tier five plus clans lose one of those per day, and party says that their leaders is increased by forty. Um, I don't want that. I don't care about their influence, but I do. All right, I'm gonna abstain. Durther, you're the king. Can't you stop it? It doesn't matter that much. So Durther's gonna have additional forces, but lose influence. I don't really care about his influence, but I don't really want him to have more soldiers. You know, someday we might wish to oppose him. And Abigail's giving birth to a healthy baby. Let's go see what that's all about. Check out that kid. Erdurand. That sounds Visigothic. Is that a boy? I think it's a boy. It's gotta be. Alright, go to Nogand. It's their fourth child. Erdurand. Kuzite culture, though. So, only this oldest one is actually Valandian culture. The rest of them are Kuzites, which I find very interesting. And Himmel the Knowing has gained a level. Probably putting that into Steward. Because he's leading a party. There you go. Yeah, we just want to fill that up as quickly as possible. It's the most important thing because it determines uh, party size. Uh, 
Okay, there's a vote now to make peace with the Northern Empire. I'm, I'm done with that. What about a little bit? Maybe get some charm? No charm. Okay, so now we're only at war with Batania. And my wife, Arwa, has given birth to a healthy baby. We are over in the west of Valendia. Re-upping on Valandian soldiers, and Perrin has been born. Okay, another boy. So I think that's four, that's four boys I have. This one is of Aserai culture. Okay, interesting. So the older two sons are Valandian culture and the younger two are Asurai. So I guess it's just random. My wife, Arwa, of course, is Asurai. So yeah, we have four kids now. Wow, look at that. So four, <laughs> four um, kids of our own and then four nieces and nephews as well. Come on, Varric. You gotta get busy. 
Okay, I've gone up uh, once again in steward, and that means I've gained a level. Level 19 now, so next level get another attribute point. I guess, I don't think we really have a choice. Yeah, I have to put this into steward. Keep this going. And Soren Willibrook gained a level. Uh, that's exactly what we wanted when we set her on scout. Right, she needs stewardship. And has to level up three more times, basically. Could try to get her a horse next time. Yeah. Okay, I've earned another perk point. Um, in leadership, and I decided to take this famous commander. This increases renown by 50%, and recruited troops uh, get 200 XP. So I switched that on after a long time of deliberating which one to take here. And on this one, I want leader of the masses because it increases party size by plus five for each time for each town you control. Um, let's take a look actually what we can handle right now. 156. So once we take this perk, if I think it's implemented. We ought to, um, you know, have more. The other one is for security, but anytime the option is to increase the party size, you want to take it. Also, heroes generate shared experience. I'm not sure exactly how that dynamic is going to play out, so I guess all of our heroes will share XP. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Or We'll see how it plays. Um, and let's take a look at what that did for... Okay, so we could fit 10 more troops in. I think we have more than two towns. I guess they're talking about... Towns as in cities. Okay, that makes sense. So plus five for each of the two cities we control. Cool. So we can fit ten troops, ten more troops now. And when I go into Lath the Scholar's um, roster of troops, so he actually has ten more too. So it looks like everybody in our, all the parties in our clan, House de Minneapolis, get an extra ten troops um, in their in their retinues. And Alda has gained another level. That girl, my sister, is just a prodigy, that one. Level 14. This will put another point in medicine. Or engineering. Medicine is. And we're going to regather everybody. So we've got our full force here, and it's all pretty much all Volandians. And we're right by our castle. So let's swing in here and check on it. We haven't been uh, here in a while. So let's go ahead and manage the castle. It has run out of its reserve. Okay, so fortifications are complete. Let's get this barracks going. Alright, so Festival and Games is producing loyalty. If we stop doing it, yeah, the loyalty will start going down. It's unfortunate. Yeah, just barely. It's barely enough to cover the loyalty here, so that's the only thing we can do at the moment. And now we've arrived in Varan Castle. We'll put reserve in here as well. Food's going down. And it's taking a while with this fortification. It's still on the first tier of that one. Okay. Legetta is next, of course. Barrett gained a level. We're gonna hunt down, go hunt down these uh, looters real quick. All right, so let's take a look at. I think there's a perk in here as well. Yeah, I have a perk in steward, aid corps, quartermaster, slash governor. Do not pay wages for wounded soldiers. Wow. Influence gained from donating troops are increased by twenty-five percent. We'll go with this. Uh, we're, I'm not gonna. I don't really donate troops that frequently. Very cool. And then Varric gained a level to get to level three, I think. Level three, yeah. Um, I think you gotta do riding, man. You gotta. Once he gets to level four, he's gotta gotta put another point in endurance too. I mean, this kid, this kid's kind of sad. All right, let's go check out Legetta. Then we'll go deal with this. Uh, manage town. 
Yeah, time to put some money in. And how's the loyalty here? Yeah, we need we need festivals and games to keep going. Okay, I think overall it looks okay. Now we have to get over to Hertogia Castle. We'll check that next. Get out of here. All right, we caught up. We're just gonna send uh, the troops here. All right, we lost 16 in our army, it's unfortunate. All right, let's slide up in here. And first go to the garrison. Donate those. And manage the castle. Let's put 10,000 into the reserve because we are flush right now. Get these projects going. Yeah, so we have to be doing festival and games here all the time. In all of them, apparently. Okay. Now it's down to Orticia. Okay, we've arrived here in Hertos uh, Orticia. And, ooh, it's doing pretty well with that food. Maybe because of all that that huge delivery we made earlier. Maybe that really made a difference. Um, otherwise, yeah, things look to be going pretty well here. Building some orchards. Got to get this going. Yeah. Himmel the Knowing. He's got a perk going for him. Drill Sergeant, I think. All troops gain plus two daily XP. Garrison wages are five percent less if you're governor. No one's governor. Tier four plus troops gain four. Yeah, we want this one for sure. All troops gain XP under his leadership. Very nice. Okay, now we're voting to make peace with the Batanians. I mean, I guess so. Now I'm not at war with anybody, though, so I don't really know how to spend my time, you know? Awkward. Anyway, I think we should be receiving tribute from both the Northern Empire and the Batanians. So, in light of that, I think that now is a good time to continue investigating Neritz's folly, maybe? We have not spoken to enough nobles at all, so we can go around looking for them, I guess. I think that we're making enough money for the time being. So we've met Kaladog, High King of uh, the Batanians. And he's helped us out with that. Alright, so we now just need to talk to six more nobles. And someone else also earned a perk here. Alda, of course. Alright, so now... I mean, she's not maxed out in scouting. She's really close. Um, what is this perk that she gets? Rumor Network. Trade penalty within cities of your faction is decreased by 5%. It's not like your party leader or governor. I mean, I don't think she's really going to be... Okay, Scout. Hideout detection range is increased by 30%. She can keep that. Uh, we'll keep her as Scout for a little while, because I don't think she's reached the end. Maybe a 201 or 202 something? Yeah, we'll see. Okay, we've come across Arkor, who's the current ruler of the Northern Empire. Yeah, tell me about the Battle of Kendrak. Oh, what? You weren't there. I feel like the game doesn't start with you. Fine, we'll find Lucan then. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> so there's no way... Yeah, okay, fine. This was the original Emperor of the Northern Empire, so he's dead already. Garyos has said the... I don't know what this is. So, I don't know what happened to you. I guess I can't talk to you about Neritz's folly then. Okay, we're coming across Garyos. See if he'll talk to me about Neritz's folly. Thank you. 
And now we're looking for the leader of the Southern Empire, Regia. And there she is, Regia. Okay, let's talk. My name is Tarl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about the Battle of Kendriak. Thanks. All right. See ya. So now we have what? Four, six out of ten. So four more. And here's Munchug. Let's talk to him. Thanks. All right. Now we only have three more to speak to. Okay, another okay, Martian. Um which one's that? Martian, is that my son? Yes. <laughs> Alright, my second born has reached the uh, the age of two, so it's time for some education. Um, yeah, I think I just, I just, I like intelligence. There's nothing, nothing I can do about that. Um, endurance then? Okay, and vigor and control. Nice. Good job, kid. Road tolls. Trade tax paid to the town owner is increased by 3%. Town prosperity is decreased. I don't want that. I'm going to abstain, though. Well, actually, we'll vote for it. See if we can't get some favor from these people. We have a lot of influence, so why not? And we also got charm out of it. And another education event for Elin. Ellen. She has her, so this is Nogan's daughter. Uh, Vigor, definitely. <laughs> Look at that hair. Endurance. Social and intelligence, okay. For especially for Nogans kids, we really want them combat heavy. So we've uh, come across Taze here, and I think he knows something about the Battle of Pendriac. Indeed, he does. Thank you. All right, now we're going to need two more nobles. We have to talk to two more nobles. And here's Adram. He also knows something about Neritz's folly. Let's talk to him. What do you know about the Battle of Pendriac? Thank you. All right, now there's only one more, and it's this dude's liege, Unquid. He's a Quiaz. We know where that is. Right by, right on the other side of the sea. Declare war on Sturgia. It's only a matter of time. Um, Durther wants no. I'll vote yes. Be on the right side of history. And there's Unquid. Let's go. Let's go. Talk to army leader. Hello. What's up, Unquid? My name is Tarl. Didn't I marry your daughter? I forgot who Arwa's father is. What do you know about the Battle of Pedrak? Thank you. Okay, so we completed the first part of the quest after, you know, 14 episodes or so. So now we have to meet with these two clowns. One is in an Imperial City, one is in Maranath. I think that's the capital of the Batanian lands. So let's go ahead and get up that way.
Okay, so we're approaching Marinath here, and I think that... Gotta talk to this guy. You're probably aware... That you probably are aware that I am Arzagos. I am not sure why you've sought me out, but know that my old life as Imperial Lapdog is over. I believe I have a piece of the Dragon Banner at Cal Regios. Is that true? Well, that is interesting. You may have found one piece of the banner, but it's of little use in itself. You'll have to find the other parts, but once you can bring it together, you'll have something of tremendous value. Okay, so... We're going to tell him we would see the Empire destroyed. I guess we would. So, we have to find another piece of the Dragon Banner in this hideout, I guess. We also have a perk going on for Soren Willibark. Stewardship. Uh, efficient campaigner. Troop wages are decreased by 25% while in an army as the quartermaster. Party leader, army commander, com uh, companion wages are from... Yeah, we'll do this one. She's not the quartermaster right now because she's doing scouting, trying to get some XP, but we will switch her back to this in due time. And let's go to the hideout. Wait till nightfall. Okay, let's attack. Um, we're going to bring with us... Ooh, we don't want to lose... Bring all of our companions. Um, let's see. Instead of... We'll leave Varric then. Sorry, Varric. And bring Magna the Shield Maiden. There we go. That's a good squad. Let's attack. Alright, everyone's just gonna follow me. Oops. All right, well, it's alerted to us now. Come on. Come on. Oh, there are more of them. One hand is at 50 now. Bring him down. Bring him down. There we go. All right, they're just looters. They're not bandits or anything. them down there. <laughs> Get out of the way. No, I had a good shot. Get out of my way. There we go. Oh. No. Felt very short. Okay, let's go. Alright. Charge. Oh, I'm getting hit a lot. Alright, let's just avoid getting hit anymore. Good job, crew. Alright, that, that should be all of them, right? Now they're leader. Yeah, no, I'm gonna duel. I have no health. <laughs> 
I don't fight duels with brigands. Actually, I'm just kind of scared. All right, back up, back up. Nice. Good job, Arwa. All right. Wait, someone died? Nostros the Silent died. Oh man, he was leading the cavalry. Well, that's too bad. We'll have to find another cavalry commander. No trust the silent has died in battle. Found the second banner piece. Okay. So, let's go to the tavern district. We need to we need to find a good rider. Neither of you will do. And we have this perk point in one handed. 2% swing speed. Or increase your damage with axes and maces. We'll do swing speed. I'm using a sword. Okay, and with that, that is actually all the time we have for today, so please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button, and we will go head over to Epicrotea and complete assembling the Dragon Banner in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.